Did you get your picture? Huh? Who are you? Come to the garden now. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate. I'll cut you down. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. <sighs> well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Shoin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. Hmm? I'm sorry. I had an important matter to look into. <clears throat> All right. Back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> hmm. Uh, haven't we met somewhere? Hmm. Not the peaceful, loving type, are you? From the pleasure district. <laughs> That's right. I remember those eyes. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. My. Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And they ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Ganzui here is off to do just that. And he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> this accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country. Ah, there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been let us short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. Ah, you're back. Did you go anywhere since? Ah, oh, I see. Well, I hope you had some luck. Just make sure you don't get carried away. I see. So you worked up a good sweat. You should visit the dojos in Edo sometime too. Did Ryoma recommend me? 
I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own. Listen, I have no problem helping you out. But I'll need a little something in return. Tell me, what do you make of the state of this nation? Here we are, with the Western powers circling us as we speak. And yet, the Red Demon speaks with America and brooks no opposition. He is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. I speak of Lord E. Since he came to prominence, the oppression has escalated. So you agree. That makes me feel less alone. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. That is what Master Shoin and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrades' whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. If Sakamoto trusts you, then so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. Ah, so you came. The others are already in position. It seems security is tighter than we expected. Still, if we can get to Harris, the samurai you seek is bound to appear. If we join forces, we'll all get what we want. So, what do you say? Splendid. Now, let's wait for our chance. Those idiots! I told them again and again to wait for the right moment. You better get after them. Our goal is to kill Harris. Come back here when it's done. Ah, you're alive and well. That is a relief. You know, it seems you really were born lucky. Not that everything went smoothly, of course. Harris got away, I understand. Did you find that samurai who came on the black ship? So, even one as gifted as you was foiled. But getting that close to Harris was no minor feat. The Americans were ready for us. It's almost as if someone tipped him off. Stop that nonsense. I know how you feel, but this wild speculation helps no one. The treaty will be signed, no doubt. We must accept that. But we will not give up. The Red Demon and the Americans may be looking for you, but we will aid you. We're in the same boat now, after all. Well, until next time. Sorry to cut to the chase, but this is important. I received an anonymous letter the other day, challenging me to a duel. In times like these, I doubt it'll be a fair fight. But if it's a trap, it's not a very good one, is it? Anyway, I need to know who I'm dealing with. Takasugi was going to help me, but the Shogunate is watching us. The Choshu can't afford to be associated with any funny business. Which brings me to my request. Will you come with me? It's a lot to ask, I know, but please, 
I could really use your help. Come to think of it, you probably haven't seen it at all. I wasn't exactly in peak fighting condition when we first sparred. Despite appearances, I'm not too bad with a sword, you know. I don't intend to be outshined by you. The letter specifies a time and place. We'll leave when it's time. So, are you with me? Good. Thank you. As always. Well fought. Though I expected nothing less from one so brazen as to rebel against the Shogunate. This won't be the last time we meet, I am sure. By the sound of it, you've come here just to take the measure of me. Well, what would you do with him? I see. I happen to agree with you. You're soft, Katsura. Just like they say. All eyes are on the Choshu now. And I don't just speak of the Shogunate. If we can end this peacefully, then we must. But the way he wielded his sword... Could he be from Sansama? And with that level of skill, why well, he must be... No. I shouldn't make assumptions. Well, with you as our ally, I know we can handle anything. Though I should admit, for a moment there, I wondered if you'd betray me. <laughs> then I'm glad to hear it. I suppose I should make this the last time I ever doubt you again. Thank you. That was quite a night, wasn't it? No, that's not the plan. <laughs> but I admire your enthusiasm. Harris is in hiding somewhere. Either way, now that the treaty has been signed, killing him won't make any difference. Harris was never your main concern, though, correct? Your sights were set on the samurai from the black ships. Learning Harris's whereabouts will help you find this samurai of yours, I suppose. Then, I recommend you pay a visit to the Grand Villa. That's where the powers that be rub shoulders with the foreigners. One particular shogunate official, Yukichi Fukuzawa, has been in and out a lot of late. Katsura, and you, together, I see. Hello, Shinsaku. Nice to see you here, finally. Let's just get right to it, shall we? I can tell you, we've located Master Shoin. The Red Demon got him. He's been imprisoned. If we want to save him, we have no choice but to act. And as luck would have it, we've heard some good news. It seems that the Mito clan has a letter, the contents of which would force the dead demon to stand down. And if we get our hands on this letter, we could potentially get Master Shoin out of prison. But, after the Harris incident, the authorities have their eyes on us, and we must use extreme care not to alert them to the letter's existence. That's where you come in. I want you to get that letter from the Mito clan, and bring it to me. Can I count on you? Excellent. I thank you. I know this is a lot to ask, but try to avoid any casualties, if at all possible. After all, they are not our enemy. We will have a contact stationed at Hodogaya. Rendezvous with them when you are ready. I'm listening. What is it?
the chores should tell me much the same, and quite often. To tell the truth, sometimes I think that myself. But to live is to suffer. And there are many times when not indulging in a drink seems all but impossible. It is only when I'm drunk that I can escape the hardships of this world. Besides, bonds are made stronger by sharing a bottle, are they not? I am embarrassed by what happened the other time. But I need my sake. I hope you won't think too poorly of me for it. What is it? Well, they're a strong-willed lot, so I suppose it's only natural you might think that. They might appear to share the same cause, but every one of them has got a different opinion. Honestly, it's a bit like hurting cats. But I respect each of their goals, and I think my role is to support every one of them. I'm more than prepared for how difficult that will be. Thanks for letting me ramble on. I have renewed faith that I can keep going. There's no one else I can talk to like this. Really? Well, I'm happy to listen whenever you want to talk. So, you've made it back. Will you show me the letter? If you have it? I heard that you helped keep the Mito casualties to a minimum during the mission. You have my heartfelt gratitude for your efforts. Blast! There is no official seal, as I feared. This is a fake. They are toying with us. I just spoke with an ally of mine. It seems those samurai were given a fake letter as a diversionary tactic. The real one was transported along a different route. But apparently it has been seized by the shogunate. It was all an utter waste of time, I'm afraid. But, do you have anything else to report from Hodogaya? Ah, no, I suppose you don't. Very well then. I hope to have more fruitful work for you next time. I apologize for all of this, but I still very much hope I can rely on your help in the future. Master Shoin is set to be executed soon. I've heard from several of my sources, and believe it to be true. I want everyone's ideas on what we should do. The prison walls are unshakable. But what of the people inside? What do you mean? What are you getting at? Some of the girls are persuadable. We can use the Kihetai to bring a few of them over to our side. Shinsaku! Our priority is saving Master Shoin's life. We simply don't have time for such games. Do you have any better ideas? Those pathetic officials are nothing to fear. I say we march in from the front. Genius plan, number one student. Will you two give it a rest? Roma, do you have any thoughts? Indeed I do. There's a watchtower right by the prison. We could just climb it, then go swoosh right in. Hmm. How does one swoosh, exactly? What? You don't know how to swoosh? You know, have a swoop, or take a glide. What do you think? Perhaps you can offer us an impartial opinion. You're up next. Thank you. Your time has come. 
Listen to me, Kenzui. I want you to decide. As Master Shoin's favorite student, it is you who is heir to his vision. I vow to help you in any way that I can. Your time has come. Rise as one. Master, I will listen to my heart and walk the path we believed in. Let us join the Satsuma. To correct Japan's cause, we must put our petty differences aside and embrace what we share. What say you? Do I have your support? <laughs> the Testament of the Soul Master Shoin left us is back in our hands. You should give it a read. Master Shoin's last words, the one he entrusted you with, I think he hoped that even if his body should perish, his spirit would remain forever in his homeland. Everything we stand for began with Master Shoin. You might find reading his testament useful for reflecting on all that's happened. Eventually, I'll have a manuscript made so his words can reach even more people. The power of a message relies on it being conveyed, after all. What is it? <laughs> Too often to count, but I have absolutely no intention of letting that happen. It never takes more than a little disguise to give them the slip. I do worry about relying too much on that method, though. I was dressed as a woman one night, when a strange man started harassing me. Thinking back, his breath stunk of sake. <laughs> I suppose in his drunken stupor, he must have thought I was a vision of beauty. <laughs> I never realized how dangerous drinking really is. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Here to pay your respects at Tucker's grave? Someone's done it up recently. Perhaps her relatives when she turned up here with Fumi, I knew I'd found a steadfast comrade. There was something about her. I could never fully let my guard down around her. Her death is a tragedy. But part of me is almost relieved. Sorry, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. If she hadn't been mixed up with us, Perhaps she'd still be alive. I'll go and pay a visit myself later. Whoever she truly was, we owe her our lives. We've made arrangements to that end. That's true. Hmm. You always pop up at just the right moment, don't you? <sighs> Roma, look at this. Every last one of them is here to help us strike down the Red Demon. Hmm, truly an impressive sight. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for joining us. We all come from different domains, places with separate customs, different loyalties. In fact, some of our clans once opposed each other long ago. Yet we have cast aside our differences and come together. Truly a testament to Master Shoin. We must strike in the name of all who have been oppressed. Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. We will bring this darkness to an end and deliver Divine retribution to the Red Demon!
It's good to see you both. Listen, the British are building their legation on Gotenyama, and our plan is to burn it down. Naturally, it's not going to be easy. So I've asked a few of our younger comrades to lend us their assistance. Our people have also been watching the comings and goings at the legation. Their reports include mention of a samurai with a peculiar hand. Must be the samurai you're looking for, right? Well, what do you say to helping us out? I didn't want to twist your arm like that. But please understand that my priority is the safety of my men. It's better to have you there. Marvelous. My thanks. Ryoma, would you consider joining us too? Your presence would be much appreciated. I hear the legation was a parting gift from the Red Demon. Makes it hard to ignore. So yeah, I'm along for the ride. My thanks. Now, I know I'm the one asking for your help, but I don't think I'll be able to join you. I'm in the middle of talks with the Lord of Choshu and his chief retainers. Genzui and the others have assembled near Gotenyama. Can I count on you to go? I imagine you've got things to take care of. Let's meet around Gotenyama later. Hey, tell this fellow how good I am. My secret techniques are quite something. Am I right? What do you mean? I'm as sober as a judge. Do you two happen to know this man? Could you kindly stop him bothering me? He's three sheets to the wind. Even the two of us might have a hard time with him. Hang on, you've never witnessed my techniques, have you? Well, you're in for a treat! Really? I can't keep on waiting! Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. See you around. Listen up, men. It's time we began the next stage of the plan. The Red Demon is dead, and the British Legation in ashes. We have the momentum to finish off the Shogunate. We'll take control and defend our land from the West's control. Hear, hear, and forge the world, Master Shoin, in vision. Then I have a proposition for the next step in ousting the Shogunate. Kill Kaishu Katsu! With the Red Demon gone, he is at the heart of the Shogunate. And word is, he'll be attending the fireworks. Katsu? I've heard he's just another aspiring windbag. Is killing him even worth the trouble? It's the aspiring ones that you have to watch. Not that I need to rely on a drunkard for advice. Let's keep numbers low, to avoid drawing attention. Ready to head to the river and finish him? Great. We're counting on you. Sakamoto, you'll join us, won't you? I guess. If it's what Master Shoin would have wanted. I appreciate it. I'll go ahead and scope it out. Let us meet at the Azuma Bridge. I never thought you'd side with the Shogunate. But, given who you are, I assume you have your own plans in mind. Let's put that aside for now. 
What else do you need? So it's you, is it? It's been a while? Come on, tell me what you're up to. Well, to cut a long story short, we've joined the Roshigomi. But we're stuck here, thanks to those ruffians. I get the feeling we're all facing the same problem. So, how about we team up and teach them a lesson? Kiyokawa, head of the Roshigumi at your service. You must be Kogoro Katsura, master of the Shinto Munenryu. Your reputation precedes you. I would gladly join forces with you. Ah, oh, so you are Hachiro Kiyokawa of the Hokushin Ittoryu, but... You can't expect me to work with the Shogun's men. Ah, don't be so petty. We're in the same boat. We need all hands on deck. Exactly. Come on, Katsura. Let's get out of this damn place. All right, I hear you. And no, I don't have any better ideas. The last thing I want is to lose men here. Listen, go and round up Shinsaku and Genzui, will you? I wouldn't want to go into battle without them. Shinsaku said he planned to do some sniffing around the local gambling den. And Genzui just had it out himself. We don't want the thugs getting suspicious. This is a job that demands discretion, and that makes you the perfect fit. And worst case, if those two aren't interested in joining us, we all just need to fight this battle with our current numbers. All right. Any ideas for how we should strike? My men are very rough and ready, so I'll order them to attack head-on. Objections? If you're striking from the front, we'll sneak around the back and launch a surprise attack. It's probably best we don't all fight shoulder to shoulder. Very well. It's not like we completely trust your men either. You can join forces with whomever you choose. You and Katsura go back a fair way, after all. Now what do you say we take the fight to those ruffians? Good. Only don't get too cocky. Now, who do you plan on joining? Happy to hear it. We'll be counting on you. a manly drinking contest. Oh. <coughs> if you insist, my dear. You are lovable, but not you. Oh, you can really drink, can't you? Don't be shy. Drink, drink. Hey, huh? what's an expulsionist doing with the beer? We'll expel the foreigners, but their drinks can remain. Kanpai! Kanpai. Don't forget me. Kanpai! Looks like I'm up next. Give us a good one. All right. Bold move, showing your face here. We might have joined forces at Ejiri Post, but you didn't expect us to welcome you back with open arms, did you? Word is that Kyokawa has died. I suppose that's why you two have shown up now. I thought as much. Katsura, the reason we joined the Roshigomi, the reason we're here now. We've only ever done what we thought was right. 
I'm not saying we can go back to the way things were before, but will you let us join your fight, at least for the time being? Very well. I always knew I'd eventually have need of you again. There's an assembly taking place at the Ikeda Inn soon. You two should come. Of course. Just follow along behind me. Listen, at the meeting there will be warriors other than the Choshu present. Look out for Master Miyabe of Kumamoto, a great figure in our movement. I consider him as great a man as Master Shoin. Be sure to talk to him. Not much further to Ikeda Inn. Master Miyabe and the others will be in the banquet hall upstairs. Damn, we're later than I expected. They'll probably start it without us. Hey! The Shinsengumi are raiding the Ikeda Inn. Yeah, they're cutting down all the running. The Shinsengumi? They're in danger. We have to help them. Master Miyabe! I'm so glad you're safe. Katsura! Why didn't you escape when you had the chance? And who is this with you? A friend of great skill, as Genzui and the others will readily attest. They're not our enemy. Rest assured. I see. Well, perhaps there's something you can do for me. I'm going to create an opportunity for Katsura to escape. I want you to keep him away from harm. No, Master. You should be the one escaping. Our movement would fall apart without you. What wisdom I have merely comes with age. It does not compare to yours, Katsura. If you are caught, we lose control of Choshu, our foremost force. I have a chance to achieve immortality, and you have a chance for greater opportunity. Am I mistaken? Of course not. We'll make you proud. was a close one. This meeting should have been top secret. Who could have leaked it? It seems the situation in Kyoto has changed significantly. Far more than I had imagined. It is likely that the Shogunate had eyes on me. I would only put my allies in danger if nothing changes. Not something you would hear from my other associates. But you are right. I need to stay alive so I can make my biggest move and make Master Miyabe's death worth something. I'll go into hiding for a while and try to find out what the Shogunate and the nobility are planning. I'll see you again, I promise. Stick with Kusaka's lot. If you really want what's best for this nation, that's the way to go. I'm counting on you. Thank the stars. Glad it was you two who showed up. Katsura. I had a feeling that was you. What are you doing in that getter? The Choshu men feared the worst. I've been looking into the Shogunate's next moves, but I've let down my comrades by not being able to fight with them. Genzui especially. It wasn't for nothing, though. I got my hands on some vital information. The Shogunate are going to send in a force to deal with the Choshu soon. 
The Shogunate is making a move. Hmm. They're seizing their chance to take the Choshu out once and for all. Indeed. And they're expecting the Satsuma to provide the best part of the force. Them again? But weren't they planning to revolt against the government? Well, the Satsuma are making a show of compliance to the Shogunate, which will spell the end of the Choshu. Any bright ideas? Hmm. You know, I've always wondered why the Choshu and Satsuma don't just make an alliance. You're the only ones with enough power to bring about change in this country. If you joined forces, you'd be unstoppable. You're not wrong. It would be incredible. Could it be done? But the Satsuma and Choshu are sworn enemies. We cannot simply form an alliance. That's right. While the Satsuma and Choshu fight, the West eats our country alive. Is that really what you want? <sighs> I see what you're saying. Then we should ride to Kyomizadera Temple. Takamori Saiko of the Satsuma should be there at present, as far as I'm aware. He's the commander of the Satsuma forces right now. If we can persuade him, this plan might have legs. Let's meet at Hyomizudera Temple! Could I leave it to you too to broach the subject? I doubt he'll be in the mood to listen if an enemy like me shows up out of nowhere. No problem. We'll handle this. So, Saigo's in this temple, right? Ah, oh, that's right. The former chief priest at this place, Gesho, was said to be close with Saigo, and I hear today is the anniversary of his death. I was told by a geisha who was client from Satsuma. Apparently, he met his end during the Ansai Purge, where he and Saigo were persecuted. It won't be easy, but as long as you're sincere and make him understand that it's all in the best interest of the country, he'll come around. Hmm, okay. Time to head inside. We'll get kicked out if we just rush in. Better to wait for the right moment. The grounds are pretty big, so we should prioritize locating Saigo. Ryoma, answer me this. If the Shogun remains in the administration, how can that be a fresh start for our nation? The Tokugawa will contrive to take control again. Then they will surely crush us. The time has come to settle things with firearms! I need your help with something. I seem to have angered Ryoma. He's living in a dream world if he thinks the Alliance would ever allow Lord Yoshinobu into the new administration. Well, it all comes down to your perspective on the matter. In all truth, neither choice is wrong, which is why I'm in this bind. Whatever the case, Roma has been indispensable in getting us this far. This isn't the time for infighting. I'll continue to coordinate with the Satsuma, so I'd like you to keep an eye out on Ryoma. I ran into Oryo near the Omi Inn just now and told her much the same as you. Please, I need you and Oryo to talk Ryoma around for me. All right? Hello there. Everyone still had a bit of a loss after what happened with Genzui. Now we're allied with the Satsuma, the time is ripe. I need to pull myself together. Speaking of the Satsuma, one of their men demanded a duel some time ago. It was quite a while back. Do you remember? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'm embarrassed. That means a lot coming from you. Katsura, there's just no way we can ascend to this. You want us to join forces with those who drove Kusaka to his death? I assure you, it pains me too. I didn't expect you to come around to the idea just like that. Which is why I've prepared the banquet for us with the Satsuma. On their end, Okubo will take the lead. Kuroda's lot will be attending too. It'll be a good chance to see if they're worthy of our trust. Don't you think? Very well then. I shall take the measure of the Satsuma and decide for myself. If possible, I'd like you to attend as well. What do you say? Good. I've made arrangements at the place nearby. Come by later. Katsura, remember that jewel we had? I have to say, I was rather disappointed at the time. You had no clue who I was, but let me go free. Too soft for a samurai. And now we are to stand shoulder to shoulder. We Satsuma despair. You're a fool! Katsura sees further into the future than either of us. If he let you go free, he had a good reason! <laughs> it didn't really take much. And that's why you let me go. Because you were afraid of earning the ire of the Satsuma. Utter cowardice. You there. Yamagata, was it? If you dislike what we have to say, come and silence us with your fists. Perhaps then I'll reconsider. I'd be only too delighted. I don't need a weapon to take down the likes of you. You'll soon regret disrespecting Kasura and the Choshu. Hey, cut it out! Uh, I don't think there's any stopping this now. I swear if Okubo has my head for this... Don't worry. Just let them have at it. <laughs> I thought you were all talk, but you're not bad. I, too, underestimated your strength. Katsura, I ask you, forgive my rudeness just now. <laughs> Sobering up, are we? I'm glad you put on this feast. It was worth it just to see that tussle. Overthrowing the Shogunate won't be the end of it. We'll need good, reasonable men like Katsura here to right the course of our nation. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's get back to enjoying the feast. My apologies for dragging you along to this. But I have to say, seeing you fight never fails to impress. In fact, that particular display made me want to try my luck. Why not go around with me? I'll be waiting out back for you. Nakamura, and I see Okubo has finally arrived. Hmm. I see from that jewel you aren't as soft as I thought. Your resolve is clear for all to see. Did you plan this little display from the start? Of course not. I just fancied brushing up on my sword play. I'm delighted you enjoyed what you saw. Regardless. A likely story. <laughs> well, as your partner in this alliance, I liked what I saw. I warn you, I intend to rely on your sword arm. <sighs> ah, 
I can't believe Okubo and the others were watching. <sighs> Thanks to that unexpected audience, it seems the Alliance will hold a little longer. The nights worked out beautifully, thanks to you. Though it was hard to ignore Nakamura's provocations at first. Honestly, I have my own doubts about whether doing things my way will really be able to change Japan. I do have a vision. And everyone's been good enough to follow me. But behind closed doors, I worry all the time. What's your opinion? Am I doing things the right way? Thank you. If that's what you think, I have nothing to fear. I'm listening. Of course, that's fine by me. It's not often you extend an invitation like this. Right. What was it you wanted to talk about? Well, I'm a little taken aback, but I've been thinking the exact same thing. I was trying to work out the best way to approach the subject myself, but you've beaten me to the punch. I'm no match for you. In other words, I accept. Let me be by your side. Now. And forever. You came to see me. That makes me very happy. What is it? I value my life, I suppose. And even if you do consider me to be skilled, it's one thing to perform in the dojo. But there's no guarantee that carries over into real combat. Any fumble could mean my death. And if I die, my dreams die with me. I want to steer this country in the right direction. And until I achieve that goal, I won't be taking any unnecessary risks. But if I saw your life in danger, know that I would draw my blade without a moment's hesitation. I would gladly risk my life to save yours. Good idea. I have more than a few things I'd like to sound out too. Since the banquet, we've maintained good terms with the Satsuma. That display we put on for them at the end really seems to have done the trick. No, it wouldn't have worked without your help. I've come to realize just how little power I wield on my own. Shinsaku, Genzui's bunch, the Choshu men, the Ryoma, Nakaoka, and you. At first I was all fired up thinking I was leading my men, supporting my comrades. <laughs> but it was the other way around. I've only come this far, thanks to them. I admit, I'm a little jealous of you from time to time. You're strong. You forge your own path through life. Permit me a single question, if you would. You got involved with us only because you were chasing after that samurai, as I recall. What will you do once you've accomplished your goal? What I mean to say is, will you stay with me, even after I have served my purpose? I couldn't have asked for a more heartening answer. I'm... Truly glad I met you. Sorry for the odd question, but I just can't bear the thought of losing yet another person. So dear to me. Still, I wonder if I really deserve you. I've done nothing but accept your help 
over and over again ever since we met. I want to be someone who can be there for you too. Until I am worthy, I hope you will stand by my side. I secured your release. You might show some gratitude. Thanks to you, the negotiations have soured considerably. Now, about those weapons you have for sale. We'll take all you have. Commander has fled! Now is the time! The heavens have granted us our chance! The Shogun's troops are on the verge of retreat! Let's give this everything we have! Fire! Well, that went more smoothly than expected. We'll send the men who can still fight to mop up the rest of the enemy. <laughs> Look who lived to fight again. You made all the difference. You have my thanks. And it appears the Demon Claw Samurai's assault on Yodo Castle didn't harm our cause either. Yes. Though, I was as surprised as you when I heard. I'm sure they're up to something, but regardless, Yodo Castle was a great opportunity to turn the tide. We'll gather our forces and chase down the Tokugawa. Whatever orders might come our way, attacking Edo is unavoidable now. The samurai with the Demon Claw will no doubt be headed there too in pursuit of Lord Yoshinobu. You are on the trail, right? What do you say to traveling to Edo together? I've heard Lord Yoshinobu was badly wounded. That means it's Katsukaishu calling the shots. We need to find out what he's planning. Katsu is liable to take drastic measures, like a cornered rat. I'm counting on you to make contact with him in Edo. I know you can do it. Oh, good to see you safe and sound. I thought I should catch up with you while I was checking on things in Edo. I have always chosen what I believe to be the best course. But I know many men have lost their lives because of my choices. I want to help make a world where all can see their deaths were not in vain. I need you to know that. Whatever shape it might take, Japan is about to welcome the dawn of a new age. I hope we can share a drink together when it comes. <laughs>